in this channel. We have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. And you know why? You should know this by now. Say it with me, because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. Okay, terrorists are attacking our hyper tower where the party is. Honestly, the terrorists were very reasonable compared to the previous terrorists. They gave us ample warning. They said that they're not trying to kill you guys directly. Please get out. Save the day in the coolest way possible. Then again, Mr. Hayama, that guy there, the butler, I want to see what he does. I hope Shizuku and Honoka actually pops off too in the finale. Don't forget about Minami too. She's here as a bodyguard for Mr. Hayama. Okay, let's go. We know that she specializes in the barrier magic. So she was basically just like groomed to be Miyuki's attendant. Well, that makes sense because in the OVA, she was in her house. Oh, a little check. She noticed. <laughs> she feels Onisama's gaze. <laughs> kind of creepy, Onisama. Come on. Mm. Wow, that's a hey, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty respectable if Onisama like gives the the confirmation that she's legit. What are you gonna do, old man? Surely you're gonna pop off too, right? You're not just going home, right? Okay. I'm just gonna jump. Do we have flight? Okay. All right, let's just go. I, I think we have flight. This fucking guy even repairs the hole. Was that regrowth? I'm not sure what that was actually. Yo, where's the parachute? We're we gonna fly or what? Okay. It, it wasn't flight. It just basically just like just stopping like the downwards momentum. I thought they were gonna fly. <laughs> Minami, you're supposed to be our bodyguard. Come on. <laughs> nah, she's self aware at least. I love how Miku's holding her skirt like this to run. <laughs> she only asked that so that we as the audience would get the explanation from Onisama. They do this a lot, actually. Wait, what? By coincidence? What do you mean an earthquake? Is this just really shitty timing? Uh oh. Shizuku Horoka, uh oh. No, we gotta bust out of here. It is just a coincidence. What? No, I can't believe it's a coincidence. This has to be plans. I don't know. Nah, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. They got the flight cards too. Okay, fine. You do it then. Probably not. Hmm. I mean, he is the enemy. <laughs> this man alone is gonna stop the entire operation. Hmm? You read him immediately. Uh oh. Uh oh. They know too much now. I mean. They're not really in a position to be saying this shit. Like, we can just brute force this, can't we? Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, you you thought you were being sneaky. You're done. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That's not going to do anything. Oh, wait. Cast jamming? I'm not sure. It made her barrier go away, though. What's going on here? They like touch each other and I think they just combined all their magic together there. It doesn't matter to Onisama though. <laughs> Goodbye. Dumbasses should have just agreed with us. But if that's the leader, the group, we've already solved the day. Like like there's the terrorist group is just done. There's gotta be more people around, I'm telling you, man. There's some magic, I don't know, that, that color was the same thing where he like touched everybody else and they were able to use the magic together. It's almost like everyone in there, their magic's getting sucked by something. Wait, he's talking while being frozen. I don't know if this is possible. Extra from third. Third, what the fuck is a third research institute? 
Okay, it's basically whatever magic he was doing when he was touching everybody. Someone else is using it. The true boss is around? So... Oh, okay. So, someone else is doing it using sensory shit? Okay, but who is it? Yeah, Honoka and Shizuku. What about, what about him? I'm sorry, Honoka and Shizuku. You might die. <laughs> nah, they'll be fine. Damn, only someone not giving, you know, Honoka and Shizuku that extra... What's the word? Priority? I love how it just opens a hole like that. And then after he leaves, maybe he'll close it again. So how do we stop something that's like him? Is this possible to reverse it? We can't just do this forever. Okay, Minami can do that too. Maybe Miyuki can freeze the buildings too. Oh, the elevator worked. Nice. Everything is doomed. Only some. Do you have something else? What? It just keeps repeating. So like, we need a permanent solution. Okay, regrowth at four at the same time. Is that possible? But you're Onisama. What's Mr. Hayama doing right now? Maybe his brain would get fried from doing it. It's now or never. You gotta make a decision, man. <laughs> uh, prioritizing Miyuki's safety probably smart too, but what about Shizuku and Honoka? Just do it. Fuck it. Go crazy. Shizuku and Honoka. <laughs> okay. And the second vow? The fact that Miyuki believes that Onisama can save the day. Okay, more of... Is this lunar magic? What is this? I'm not completely sure, but this is next level regrowth, I think. So he has to like take in the entire logs of the tower. His brain just won't explode? That's a lot to handle. <laughs> the only some naked fan service sometimes, man. Okay. There's just so much information just being compressed into his brain. Now I get the point of why it's a hyper tower. Like the only reason why this tower is tall as fuck was for this reason. It's to be like a next level feat. Yeah, to use regrowth on the sheer scale, that's the whole point. Oh, on this entire tower. Wait, does he take the damage? Does, does he feel the damage of the building? Like, I don't know. Well, when the, cause like, you know when he uses regrowth normally, like if an arm got cut off, he would feel that. What about all this stuff? Would he feel this? And it's back. I hope they give like a special name for this day. You know, like Scorched Halloween? This show likes to give certain dates like you know, significant names. No, he's, he's like, it's a god, an actual god. That's what I'm saying. It's super fucking dangerous, but only some as you know, I think he can control it. Dude, he falls too? Obviously the burden was insane. What if Mr. Hayama do this entire time? Yes. And Minami will also awkwardly sit here third wheeling. <laughs> See? She's just gonna stand there until he wakes up awkwardly. That was a lot easier than I thought. Well, again, the regrowth in the entire building is insane, right? The whole reason they introduced that... Okay, the building as being that big was for that, but still. Okay. Yotsubas. Yeah, Hayama, what the fuck were you doing? He didn't even until we asked later, and it was even like the most brief details. Because of family politics, he can't afford to ask. What is it? It's a bad look if he does get involved. Oh, about the terrorists and stuff like that, yeah. Well, Haima did tell him like a little bit, but not everything. See? There's a new magical engineering emblem. Maybe we'll have some promising first years. All right, here's the credits, the ending. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of excited for the rookie first years. Is there anyone crazy? <laughs> Cameraman, what are you looking at? Oh, what the fuck with those heels? Oh my god. Hello. Make your move right now. It's the ending of second season. Do something. Oh shit, Slackers has sister. They're enrolling. Let's go. Let's go. The details of the butt cracks. Look at it. See, it's shaking. Maybe. Boyfriend, it can't be. 
I should make a comment now before the season ends. I've always thought it was so weird how Saigusa had pitch black hair, red eyes. What is this feature common with? The Yotsuba family. Mia, Maya, they all have the same shit. I think Miyuki, I'm not sure, actually, I, I, I'd have to check. I don't think she has the red eyes. I'm not completely sure. But they always say that. The sisters here, different hair color, green eyes. Now, I'm sure this is not really important, but I always thought that this was kind of sus. Like, Saigusa, what's going on here with your eyes and the hair color? Why does it look like the Yotsuba Mills? <laughs> She's holding that pose. <laughs> Bye. Nah, Miyuki has blue eyes. Who is this? Oh, it's Sakurai. Minami. Yeah, our personal attendant. Surprised they didn't mention a single time about her predecessor. You, you know the one that we saw in the OVA? I think it's just like, oh, okay, you're gonna live with us now. Okay, that's pretty much it. Yeah, she's great. But again, no single comments about the person that died in the OV that looks just like Minami. I guess it doesn't really matter. It wouldn't really make sense if people watch this in the chronological order. Or not in the chronological order. And that, season two. As always, thank you to everybody that stuck around to finish Mahoka with me. Season one was phenomenal. Now, now I'm going to say a little controversial shit right now, okay? I, I'm, I'm going to say some shit, okay? I think a season two was trash. Come on. Like, are you fucking serious? The Parasite arc? That shit was too fucking long. There was too much dead times. And like, like why did we watch Mahoka from the beginning? I think season one was so good because of... The introduction of Onisama being discriminated against, right? Everyone thinks that he's so weak. He shows up. He just blows everyone out of the water. It's so cool, right? I love the power fantasy. I think that's pretty much why we watched this shit, right? But at a certain point, when Onisama's power is recognized, now what do you do? We went to season two, and we had the parasite arc and against the demons and stuff. I felt like there was too much focus on Lena. And this might be a gamble on the author. Because, like, maybe this will pay off in the third season if she comes back. Who really knows? But I wanted more from Lena. Lena, like heavy metal burst, even that was just like, what the fuck even was that, right? Like, she used it, which is a big beam, but I didn't have the same level of impact as, you know, material burst in season one. Is it fair for me to compare, you know, Lena and Onisama? I think it is. They're both strategic class magicians, albeit Onisama is different, but still, I feel like a lot of the story in the beginning um, in season two was kind of. Not wasted, but it wasn't really what we watched Onisama for in the beginning, right? I mean, we watched Mahoka for Onisama. He wasn't really there at most of the times, which I think suffered. Combine that with some lackluster villains like the Parasite shit like that. Look, the Lunar Magic Cocutus was fucking sick. But the villains, there just wasn't much hype to it, right? The reason why in Season 1 was so hype is, I think, like, like the build-up for Crimson Prince was really good. There was some random terrorists we were tackling out, but back then we didn't really know how strong Onisama Miyuki really was, so them flexing power was good. But at a certain point, it gets a little bit stale. You gotta change up the formula. So I see what they were trying to do with Lena, but I feel like it kind of fell f flat on this face. Now, it doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy it. It's just compared to season one, which I think could be a perfect season, it, it, it fell off pretty short, and I think that's the standard for a lot of anime. Whenever they get sequel season two, probably the most lackluster one. Now, season three is going to come out, and we will definitely watch it when it arrives. And there is also the Stars movie. I'm not really sure if I want to invest time right now at this current moment to watch it. I think it might be better if we save the Stars movie before season three so that we can kind of captivate a wider audience in the trends right now. Because I feel like some people are pretty just bored with Onisama. A lot of people are just kind of dead with it. But still, for those of you guys that stuck around for Onisama season two... God bless you. Moving forward, I have some different projects up my sleeve. Don't worry, we got a ton of anime right now. We got to finish the DXD. We got to get the high, the, the classroom of the Elite Season 2 re-uploads going on. And then, reincarnate as a slime? Overlord? We'll see. But until next time, take care.